What's going on growers, it's James Prigioni coming to you live from Jersey. As gardeners, we're always looking for better, more efficient ways of growing our own food. Often, we're searching out different techniques and tips to help us grow more, but we're overlooking an important concept that can work for us. That's what I wanna share with you today. Let's go. One thing that I've learned from my garden experience is that we can't cheat time. Radishes take about four weeks from seed to harvest. A peach tree takes about three to four years to fruit from bare root. Now, we can reduce the duration by a little bit with good soil practices and by creating an ideal environment, but we can only shorten the time so much. Instead of fighting against time and fighting against nature, we should use these consistencies to our advantage. That's why I fell in love with growing a food forest and combining that with the thick mulch back to Eden method. In a food forest, we grow plants in a polyculture, which is the opposite of monoculture. Instead of just growing one whole plot of just peppers, we grow many different species of plants all together. If we were to grow a plot of just peppers, every year we would have to replant and start from scratch. So instead of doing that, we grow a food forest with many different kinds of fruit trees and other perennials. See if Tuck wants some of these peppers. So additional to just growing peppers in here, we've got blueberries, peaches, pears, apples, and many other different things. Tuck loves eating everything fresh from the garden especially at this time of the year. Now that it falls here, I think Tuck knows the garden is starting to wane down. So every time I drop something, every time I pick something, he's right next to me. He wants to make sure he gets his full and takes advantage of the garden, just like we are. These peppers are a sweet pepper. Obviously, I wouldn't give him anything that's hot. And they're delicious. They've produced real well for us this year. Definitely going to be growing again next year. And we love to find things that perform well. This way we can stick them in the garden, but always trying different things every year making sure to keep it exciting and fun. Don't forget to throw some hearts in the comments for Tuck and share this video with your friends if you think it's crazy seeing a dog eat some of his own fresh veggies from the garden. If I don't pick it for him, he'll find and pick it for himself. That's why I can't have him in the garden all the time because he loves his veggies, I think maybe even more than me. But while we are waiting for our perennials, our fruit trees too, to start producing, which can take three to four years, we're growing produce in the spaces between them. This way, we're harvesting tomatoes and peppers this year, but using time to our advantage because soon we'll be harvesting peaches, apples in those same locations. And that leads me to the back to Eden thick mulch method. We know that healthy plants come from healthy soil, teeming with microbes and other forms of life. And while it would be nice to just get truckloads of fresh compost and cover our garden with it, the cost would be astronomical. It's just not practical. That's why the wood chips and a thick garden mulch work so well. Leaves and straw wood chips are usually readily accessible. So what we do is just layer the ground with a thick mulch of these. Then we let time and nature go to work, break all this down, building good soil for us. We let the worms do the work. The worms don't take any sick days, they don't take any days off, and they don't need health insurance, yet they're always at work, helping to build our soil, make it better and better. When I first started this section, it was all sand. It wasn't even long ago, but since then, the, wood, the worms, they're working, they're building a nice, consistent soil, which is gonna give us healthy plants. The more life in the soil, the better off. It's nice when we can take what other people see as waste products like wood chips and leaves and use those to our advantage. The section that I'm in right now, two years ago I planted this food forest. The first thing I did was I put all the wood chips down. Next, after that, I put the fruit trees in. Over that time, the last two years, the wood chips have been creating soil. I've been using time to my advantage for that and the perennials have been growing. All the while, I've been harvesting food from it, making sure I get delicious, fresh snacks. My favorite tomato, this one you guys have to grow. This is the Sun Gold Cherry. Nothing sweeter than a fresh Sun Gold Cherry tomato. So good. Mm. Let's grab some more food. It excites me that as the years continue to progress, my harvest will increase. My food quality will get better and better because my soil is getting better. We've invested with time in mind, not going for a quick fix, not going for a quick harvest, and not fighting against time. Yeah, you could grow a radish, like I said, in four weeks, and you could be eating those. A peach tree might take you four years, but think about it, four years from now, are you just gonna want, want to be eating radishes or would you like to have peaches with it too? Why not grow them both at the same time and eat radishes while you're waiting for the peaches? I still have a bunch of fresh gifts from the garden that I like to harvest, so let's get to it. 10, I 
One of the absolute masters of using time in the garden was Masanobu Fukuoka. He would utilize it to his advantage to make it so he wouldn't have to really till his garden or even barely weed. What he would do is in the fall, all at the same time, he would plant a winter grain, he would plant rice, and he would plant clover. The first thing to pop up would be some of that clover. Then in the shade of that living mulch, the winter grain would pop up. The winter grain would grow like barley or whatever he planted all winter. Then as it was ready to harvest, he would thresh it and then take the straw, drop that to the ground, and the rice would be coming up through that straw. So now he doesn't even, doesn't even have to bring in any mulch either. And he doesn't have to till his ground. And he doesn't barely have to weed because the clover are covering a lot of that up. So he's planting those three crops and he's using just time and the sprouting of those seeds, nature, to his advantage. So he has to do little work. And I encourage you guys to make the most of your time. Don't procrastinate. Even if you don't know what you should do, start doing something. Even if it's wrong, it might teach you that what you were doing was wrong. You never would have known that if you didn't try, if you didn't take advantage of your opportunity, of your time. So get going, get moving, get growing, get planting. That's today's video, girls. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you start looking at time from a different viewpoint, using it to your advantage. I want you to grow perennials and fruit trees, but I want to make sure you're getting harvests while you're waiting for those to fruit. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with your friends. Don't forget to check out the merch down low. Tuck and James will be back at you real soon with another one. We out.